Fury called in the cavalry. All right. All right, let me offer you guys a little bit of contrast. It's been about six years, maybe more realistically, since I had a console in my living room. I've been PC gaming for quite a while, and the biggest thing that has drawn me there was the frame rate, right? Or the refresh rate, however you want to look at it. Um, when I started playing on PC gaming, 1080p 60 frames was like the thing I wanted to go for. Consoles just were not producing that. This was around the time of Xbox One, PlayStation 4, got both of those on release launch date. And I enjoyed the consoles thoroughly for the entertainment purposes that it gave me, Netflix, all of that type of jazz. But when it came down to playing games, a lot of the single player AAA title games just ran at 30 frames, right? Or just the frame rates were just inconsistent. And so me, competitively, I've always played fighting games. If you just browse through my channel, you're gonna see that. I used to be a semi-pro or pro Street Fighter player, if you will. Played in a lot of competitions in my days. And playing on the TV was just never the thing you went for. High input latency. And then playing on consoles, again, you just could never really get that stable frame rate. That fluidity just wasn't there until now. So now we're living in a time where these televisions are able to give you input lag so low it's competitive with like some of the best monitors that you can get um, one of the monitors that i have is one of the best on the market that you can have but today we're going to be talking about the fact that i have my console back in my living space this has been about six seven years man since i've had a console in my living space where i can sit down play comfortably and i'm just going to go over some of my experiences with this and show you guys what the setup looks like all right so my setup is a little crazy all right i'm gonna give you guys a full overview i have a full gaming desktop on a media stand with a couple of controllers my uh, virtuoso xt headset did do a review on that check it out um 77 inch c1 lg oled got the playstation 5 it's an arcade stick for street fighter receiver center channel Oculus Quest 2 and the Nintendo Switch. All right, so let me just explain to you how I got this configured. And I'm going to sit here and do this. So, as I said, full gaming desktop RTX 3080 graphics card inside. <clears throat> got the Avermedia 4K capture card. I'll put exact models in the description. 32 gigs of RAM. So, real bright down there um i got it turned the way i do because you know the illumination really isn't what i'm here for um this capture card has the ability to capture and pass through the playstation or any any device in 4k um high dynamic range at up to 60 frames per second there are no capture cards out right now that are available for you to pass through uh, hdmi 2.1 so the sacrifices obviously if there's a game on the console the ps5 uh, that's my console of choice no xbox this time um you're not going to be able to play any games in 120 frames per second okay you just will not be able to play games because my capture card simply will not pass the signal through so i've got a connection going from playstation into pc capture card out of pc capture card into oled right High dynamic range, everything looks beautiful. 60 frames, I'm getting it all there, right? Um, but just be mindful if you try something like this, you're not gonna get the 120 frames. So if you bought your 2.1 TV and you're like, hey man, I want it for that, then I'm sorry. Um, but the combination of the low input latency there plus the extremely low input latency on my uh, capture card is a beautiful thing. So I'm gonna show you guys what my setup looks like I did this so that I would have the ability to stream and or record and set myself up where I can do, um, I can create myself like banners and things like that, you know, for Twitch and or YouTube, which is where I'm posting it here. Um, and so I'm going to show you what the setup looks like once I get everything connected. All right, shout outs to Lord Vader. 
holding the controller down. I love this controller, love the feel of it. Power this boy on. And quick connection from my TV remote. Actually, didn't even have to do that. When you turn the console on, it comes on by damn self, which is awesome. Which another cool thing, the controller for the TV actually controls um, the, the, the console, which is pretty damn dope too. So get this guy connected. Um, but the way that I have this configured, the TV so damn big, you should be able to see everything. So I'm gonna switch back to my, my PC, right? HDMI 3. Give you guys just a quick look at how this, how this works for me. Open up OBS, which I've already pre-configured everything. And so depending on what kind of speakers I wanna use, I can just, if I wanted to, I can play the game right off of this. The input latency is so low. So I have game audio coming through there, right? I mean, perfect setup, perfect setup. <laughs> um, so again, the input latency is so low I'm a Street Fighter player, right? We know that if you, if you follow my channel, you really know that. Um, so I'm sensitive to, you know, a lot of um, input lag and things like that. Let me just give you a quick look. If you're not familiar with OBS, maybe you're not a game streamer. I have the ability to stream, to record, to do all of that. And I got this box cut out because obviously I'm holding the camera now that I'm gonna use cameras the Sony ZV-1, Evermedia 4K, right? But if I wanted to create some scenes and stuff, that's what this is all about. Now, I'm not actually gonna play with it like this. I'm gonna play with it on the PS5, right? Um, but I'm just showing you that this is possible. It's freaking awesome. This is a really cool setup. Uh, so let me get everything configured and then I'll give you an overview video with me actually sitting back, loading up. All right, so this is what the setup looks like, man. So idea behind this I'm back in my spot my sweet spot you know what I'm saying playing with the controller got my camera right here um, set up so dope just showing you guys let's get a quick look get close to it now once I get overlays and everything situated you know what I'm saying cams there I hit record I'm gonna bring y'all to this part two. Boom. Headsets that I got on, I'm listening to the content on my actual um, headset through the PC. So all the audio I'm capturing through the PC because it's virtually no latency. So it's a great experience, man. I'm excited. Now I get to get back into Sitting down like a boss, 77 inch OLED with the PS5, and I can capture talk shit with you guys. I'm liking it. All right, man, let's do this. Fire up a game of Spider-Man. Spectacular. Hardest difficulty anytime I'm playing a single player game. I feel like I get the most enjoyment out of playing the hardest difficulty. Could be just me, but hey, that's how I like to do it, you know? It's been a long time since I played this. Um, Really enjoyed this game. So let me just walk you through what I'm experiencing right now. Screen is huge. <laughs> HDR is active. This game has been reproduced, remastered, if you will, 
4K 60 frames per second. Um, the way it should have been at first, because I, I purchased the PlayStation 4 Pro Spider-Man Edition with this game and I enjoyed it a long time since I played it. So don't really need to look into the um, to the intro. But, you know, they make you watch it. <clears throat> Sound is pretty dope on the headphones too, man. So the one thing I didn't like about my setup is that um, when I plug the USB dongle for the headset into the console, All the console can't transmit audio to my headset at the same time through HDMI, which would mean I can't capture audio for my viewers to listen if I'm playing the game. So the workaround was OBS, and the low latency on the capture card is what brings it all together. It really does. So I'm able to hear everything perfectly, play on super low latency, you know what I'm saying? And it's all good. So now it's like I'm getting the best of both worlds. Big screen, and at the same time, I'm playing with super low lag. This man got bills. This is going to be so dope, man. I'm going to be able to do some gameplay, some Let's Play uh, videos on the channel. Playing from the comfort of my own couch, man. So it's going to bring a new type of content to the channel. You know, I'm a gamer at heart. Just swing through. It's been a while. Oh, man, it's so awesome on this TV. Got to get that timing, you know, you get that timing for that, that perfect jump. No, we're at Fisk Tower, but still waiting on the warrant. Mind if I join in on the fun? You know how his lawyers are. This one needs to go by the book. Come on, Yuri, I've been waiting eight years for this. You really want to You know, he gets all those abilities, like, later in the game. Sounds like his guys are trying to keep my backup from reaching the scene. You got it. Almost there. Look, he can run up a building. Yes, he can. Woo. All right, man. That's going to conclude this video, man. I'm going to go ahead and web sling through. Y'all got any questions about the setup? Any specific questions? Because I'm going to tag the hell out of this as an OLED video uh, again. Hello? Parker, Be sure to leave some you? comments, some we likes. Run through the demonstration at least been under the weather, so arrives. it's been a couple of weeks uh, since yes. my last video. Sorry. Yes. With a Came home from work, issue. wanted to shoot this I'll for you guys. Uh, wrap this up quick, then get Talk to, to you guys job. soon. Max love. Looks like Yuri called in the cavalry. 